Roll on 2022. German companies are expecting big things from next year, despite all the concerns about new coronavirus variants and supply chain shortages. That's according to the latest annual survey by the Cologne Institute for Economic Research. They asked 48 business associations representing almost 3,000 companies about their prospects for 2022. And you'll see that 39 of them say they expect higher production or greater business activity next year. The other nine say things are supposed to say, they expect things to stay around the same level. Not a single association expected their sector to be worse off in 2022 than 2021. Now, a wide variety of industries are optimistic, almost across the board, really. Among them are machine and plant manufacturers. We've also got retailers, the IT sector, and is banking on more security contracts next year. And uh, last but not least, we've also got construction and the pharmaceuticals sector. However, when it comes to creating new jobs, the survey is not quite as bullish. Only 21 out of the 48 associations say that their sectors will be hiring more people, among them manufacturers and electronic equipment and uh, craft workers. Uh, 19 of them said that the number of employees will remain the same, while eight of the business associations are actually planning to cut staff next year. Well, let's discuss the findings of the survey further with the director of the Cologne Institute for Economic Research, uh, Michael Hüter. Thank you very much for joining us on DW Business. Just to explain to us why there's so much optimism among German businesses at the moment. I think three arguments make clear why the German business sector is so optimistic. First, we are still out of the way of crisis. And the year 2021 20, uh, was a disappointing year because we expect more growth and we faced all the supply side problems you mentioned already. Um, and this year and the next year, 2020, will be a year of catching up again and we will hope to come to the pre-crisis level again. So it's still a year of catching up. Second, um, we, we um, have a lot of, more, uh, in, in the audit statistics of the German business sector, they're nearly on the historical level, on the highest level, so there is no demand side problem. The only problem we have, the only maybe <laughs> uh, micro, but it's, it's the supply side problems you mentioned. So we expected the German business as in, in the general expect that they will solve the problem next year. So all this is, base, is the basis for optimism, but more, most important, we have no demand side problems. In Germany, we do have the Omicron variant now and case numbers are rising. How are businesses feeling about that? Are they factoring that in when they, they think about how, how good 2022 is going to be for them? Yeah, we asked the, the companies end of November and the first half of December. So that we're still in the situation that they were faced of the fact that there is a new uh, vari vari uh, uh, virus called um, Omicron. But what can you do? You can only ask for more flexibility, an agile production scheme. You can um, try to be flexible in the in the usage of your workforce, and all this already done. And the companies are working on the vaccination campaign. So the, this is not a very simple uh, task to to make a forecast on the Omicron. The wave may be strong, but without a, a smaller impact on, on, on the hospitality uh, situation, nobody knows. And the variety is between standstill of production, that will be the worst case, mm -hmm. and an ongoing production, and maybe the best case that we have not really an effect on that. So in this case, you can only ask for flexibility. And you mentioned about supply chain problems. That's obviously having a knock-on effect. We're seeing inflation as a result of that. We're seeing higher energy bills as well. Mm. Is that expected to resolve itself during 2022? Yeah, it's, it's more time as we expected during the year 21. But for next year, the companies are indicating that they will see an ongoing uh, uh, lower problems on, on the supply side. The logistics systems, which are in a, in a really in a trouble due to the closing of ports in East Asia, for example, have we, we expect to, to solve these problems. They will come back on a, on a new quality on logistics and the companies react, as I already mentioned, with higher stocks. So right. this is still uncertain, but there are more hope that it will solve the problem next year. And this will be uh, most important for coming up with all the demand, which is still in the order statistics. Okay, Michael Hüter, Director of the Cologne Institute for Economic Research. Thank you for joining us this morning. Welcome.